Hi kids! Today we will learn about properties of different states of matter. So let's get started. We know everything around us is made up of one or the other form of matter. Different forms of matter are solid, liquid, and gaseous form. Let's first learn about properties of matter. Matter mainly has two properties, mass and volume. Mass is the amount of matter in it, and volume is the amount of space that it occupies. Now, let's learn about the properties of different forms of matter. Properties of solids. Specific mass. Solids have a specific mass, that is, the amount of matter in it, and is mostly measured in grams or kg. For example, pencil is a solid form of matter, and its mass or weight is about 4 grams, so solids have a specific mass. Its mass will remain 4 grams unless you sharpen it, or reduce it anyhow. Second property is specific shape. Solids have a specific shape. Pencil, a cupboard, a tumbler are all examples of solid forms of matter. They have specific mass. We just learnt they also have a specific shape. That is, if you have a pencil, you keep it anywhere. Its shape will not change. It has a specific shape. It will not change its shape unless you apply some force to it. That is, if you sharpen it, it will become smaller. But otherwise, its shape doesn't change no matter where you keep it. Similarly, all solids have specific shape and specific mass. There is little or no space between particles of solids. And the particles just cannot move, so that is why solids does not change their shape on their own. Next property is specific volume. Solids have specific volume. That is, the amount of space they occupy does not change no matter wherever you place them. The same pencil you place anywhere, it will occupy the same space. It will not happen that any particular place it is occupying less space or any place it's occupying more space, but it will always occupy the same space, so it has specific volume. So we learned solids have specific shape, mass, and volume. Now let's learn properties of liquids. First of all, liquids do not have a specific shape like solids. Liquid flow and you can pour them in any container and they take up the shape of that container. If there is some water in a glass container, its shape is same as that of the glass container. If you pour the same water in a bowl, its shape will be same as that of the bowl. If you pour it in a jug, it will take the shape of the jug. See why liquids can flow or can change their shape. The molecules of liquids have some free space between them and so is why they can move. So that is why liquids can flow, opposite to solids. The molecules in solids have little or no space between them, and the particles cannot move. Solids does not change their shape, and liquids can change their shape. This is why water, or any liquid, 
has no shape of its own. They just take on the shape of the container. Now their next property, liquids have fixed volume. Just like solids, liquids keep their same volume, that is, if you have 250 ml of water, if you pour it in a one liter container, it will remain 250 ml of water. If you pour 250 ml of water in a 500 ml container, it will remain 250 ml of water. That is the volume of water does not change. Now, let's learn the next property of water. Liquids have fixed mass. The weight of a given amount of liquid remains the same, no matter which container you pour it in. If you have one liter of any liquid, it will remain a liter of liquid, no matter in which container you pour it into. So we learned liquids have fixed volume, fixed mass, but not fixed shape. Now let's learn properties of another state of matter, that is gaseous state. Gases do not have specific shape and volume. Gases spread out to fill up the shape and volume of a container. Take two balloons of different shapes. Now fill them with the same amount of air. Air will take the shape of the balloon it is filled into. And when you let the air out of the balloon, the gas is spread out in the surrounding air. So air does not have any definite shape or volume of its own. It takes up the shape of its container and fills the volume of its container. Take a bottle of room freshener and spray it in your room. Now you can smell it anywhere in the room. That is because there was a gas in the bottle of the room freshener that spread out. So gases do not have any fixed volume. They just spread out. So friends, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.